Hi there guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and guys today we're going to be continuing with our discussion on diagonal scale and it's going to be problem number 3 in this series. So let's see how it goes. Here we go. The distance between Delhi and Ambala is 156 kilometers. They are shown 156 mm apart, millimeters apart on a road map. All right. What is the RF? And construct a diagonal scale to measure up to 200 kilometers and show the distance of 109 kilometers. Okay. All right. So we have this. Uh, uh, we need to calculate the RF initially as it has been given to us. What is the RF? And it's given by this formula length on drawing upon actual length. Okay. So a road map is in fact some kind of a drawing. And on this road map, both these cities that is Delhi and Ambala are separated by a distance of 156 millimeters. All right. So the length on drawing is going to be 156 kilometers, whereas the actual length between or the actual distance between these two cities is 156 kilometers. So let's put in these values. So you can clearly see that numerator is in millimeters, whereas denominator is in kilometers. So some kind of a conversion has to take place. So what we're going to do is we're going to write 1000 meters in place of this kilometers over here. And then in place of this meter, we're going to write um, 100 centimeters. Okay, since one meter is the equivalent to 100 centimeters. And we also know that one centimeter is equivalent to 10 millimeters. That's it. That's the final conversion. Now you can cut this millimeter from numerator and from denominator and just do this conversion 156 and 156 are going to cancel each other. And the only thing left is 1 over 10 to the power, let me see, 1 over 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 to the power 6. Okay, so this is the RF. In order to understand this figure, just think about this. Um, the original distance between these two cities is 156 kilometers. So 156 kilometers has been shrinked by an amount of 10 lakh or 156 kilometers has been shrinked by 10 lakh times so that it can fit in properly on a road map. Okay, in the form of 156 millimeters. That's it. That's the uh, relevance of a representative fraction. Now, the scale should be good enough to measure up to 200 kilometers. All right. So the maximum length is 200 kilometers. Fine. Now let's get the value of the length of scale and it's given by this formula RF multiplied by ML. So just put in these values. This is the RF. This over here represents the maximum length. Just put it. But ultimately you have to calculate this length of scale in centimeters. And for that, again, you need to go through a whole lot of conversion. Okay. Something like this kilometers into meters, meters into centimeters and then centimeters. Finally, we have this all cancelling all these zeros. We're going to have this 20 remaining. So 20 centimeter is going to be the length of scale. So let us start by making the construction. Let's initially draw a line 20 centimeter long. Now this 20 centimeter long line is in drawing sheet, but it represents a distance of 200 kilometers in reality. So the next thing that has to be done is to divide this line into two equal parts so that each part represents a length of 100 kilometers. Okay. And for that, uh, randomly from this point, I'll be drawing a line at any suitable angle of any suitable length. And then we're going to be putting up arcs of one centimeter radii, something like this first arc and second arc. So two parts, two arcs, that's it. Now this point has to be joined with the end of this line. Okay. And then keep your drafters over here, mini drafters, tighten the screw, bring it to the first point, draw a line. Now you can clearly see that this line gets divided into two equal parts. That's pretty simple. We have been doing all of this stuff. So this is a division of 100 kilometers. This also is a division of 100 kilometers. At the end of first division, you need to put in a zero over here. So this is going to be 100, something like this. Towards the right of zero, we have the main unit in the form of kilometers. But this kilometer that we do have represents 100 kilometers. Okay. And towards the left of zero, we also have kilometers. I'll show you why this 10 has been written over here. Okay. Now let's give this diagonal scale some height. Okay. So this is going to be uh, by default five centimeters. Alright guys, now you can clearly see that this portion over here represents a distance of 100 kilometers. So in order to have a division of 10 kilometers each, what you need to do is you need to divide this portion into 10 equal parts. So 100 divided by 10 will give you 10. Alright. And for that, what I'll be doing is I'll be randomly making a line over here of any suitable length and I'll be putting up arcs of 5 millimeters radii. Okay, something like this. 10 arcs for 10 parts along this length of the line. All right. So let's join this point with this point over here. Uh, keep your drafters along this line, tighten the screw, bring it to the ninth point, draw a line, eight point, draw a line, keep on doing so until all the points um, have been exhausted. And finally, you'll realize that this line gets divided into 10 equal parts. So this portion over here represents the distance of 10 kilometers. And this portion over here, st starting from this point to this point represents 20 kilometers. Anyway, now the next thing to do is to this okay so this 10 this portion this first portion over here 
I shall be joined with the zero. Okay, and then keep your chapters along this line. Tighten the screw, bring it to this point. Keep on doing so. Keep on doing so until all the points have been exhausted and all these points have been transferred here also. Fine. So this portion represents a distance of 10 kilometers. Okay, so 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60, 70, 80, 90, and this is going to be 100. But we want our scale to have some more precision. As far as the diagonal scale is concerned, we know that um, it can represent three different units. So as far as this particular question is concerned, we have only one unit in the form of kilometer, but it has different denominations. Let's say this kilometer has a denomination of 100. This one over here has a denomination of 10. And there is going to be one more kilometer that we're going to have. It is going to have a denomination of 1. All right. But how can that be accomplished? Now you see over here, this small portion over here represents a distance of 10 kilometers. Let's say we want to have a division of 1 kilometer each. So is this is it possible to do 10 divisions of this line? Well, that does not look easy. Okay. So the next best thing that we can do right now is to divide this vertical line over here into 10 equal parts. And for that, I'm drawing a line of any random length of any at any suitable angle. And then for dividing this into 10 equal parts, I need to put 10 arcs over here of equal radii. That is 5 millimeters. Okay. Something like this. 10 points. Okay. So this 10th point has to be joined with this end. And then keep your trap trace along this line, tighten the screw, bring it to the 9th, 8th, 7th, keep on doing so. And ultimately this line, vertical line will get divided into 10 equal parts. And then you need to set your trap trace horizontally or and then move to this point, keep on drawing these lines. That's it. Now guys, just try to think about this. This portion represents a distance of 10 kilometers. So we have written 10 over here. This portion represents 9 kilometers. This is 8, 7, 6, 5, and hence this is 5 over here. 4, 3, 2, 1, and this is going to be 0, obviously. So this also represents kilometers. The only difference being is this. Uh, this has a precision of 1. This has a precision of 10. And this has a precision of 100 kilometers. Fine. So that was all about the construction regarding this diagonal scale. The unit is the same. The denominations are different. Okay. Something else was to be carried out. <clears throat> in the form of marking a length as 109 kilometers so let's say this line over here is for 100 kilometers so from this point to this point we have 100 this from this to this we have 101 102 103 4 5 6 7 8 and this is going to be 109 so the, from this point to this point we have the distance 109 that's it so guys that was all for today and that was all from my side I hope you like the content and presentation in this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. In the next lecture, we're going to be seeing a few more problems. Until then, it's a wrap for today. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.